In this video, I wanted to take a quick look at the solenoid piece, kind of show a couple pieces, and then briefly talk about how to hook up these wires correctly. Uh, so first off, we'll go ahead and unscrew it so we can take a look at what it looks like. So this is the piece that it looks like on the inside. Um, you're gonna have a little plat clear plastic piece. Water will come out of that when you unscrew it if you're connected to uh, a pressurized system, just so you're aware. So sometimes these, we always wanna make sure that the threads on the inside here aren't stripped or broken. Obviously that will prevent anything or any chipping from up here because that will break the seal and won't allow it to pressurize properly even if you have a fully working solenoid. So just be aware of that. Um, a couple things to point out on the solenoid. So we've got in here, you've got this middle piece that is spring loaded. So the part that looks orange, that is spring loaded. Um, just so you're aware. So if that spring ever breaks or doesn't work, that can help, that can prevent things from happening. And then you've got a brown ring. That is a, that's a seal and we want to make sure that's always there so if you ever notice that seal is gone you either need to go get a new one new seal or a new solenoid because that will prevent it from working properly um, now when you're hooking in you notice that these are two normal colored wires some other ones come with a red and a black they don't matter which one you hook them up to all you have to make sure to do is hook one up to the zone wire so whatever one you have going for each zone going to your to your sprinkler clock and the other one you just need to make sure you hook up to the common wire but it does not matter which one you use just make sure that they're connected to one's connected one the other one's connected to the other or it won't work um, and when you're connecting these we'll have another video to share but make sure that they are the sprinkler uh, wire nuts, meaning that it's going to have kind of like a Vaseline uh, gel on the insides of those. The reason why is it protects them from corrosion because they could get wet and making sure that it won't short out the system. 